It's more border, man. I said I was going to beat the whole playthrough, and I'm going to do it. So here we go. We're going to get the sniper rifle parts. We're going to get... We're going to get the circle of... Ah, do I have to do circle of death? That's kind of boring. Mo and Marley? Oh, God, Mo and Marley. Well, let's go do Mo and Marley and the old scavenger sniper rifle quest. Two classics, two all-time classic quests. Can you spoil the ending of Borderland for me? Uh, Commandant Steel does not have a good time. All right, Skag, well, get him out of here. Fortunately, the game of the year Super Duper Pistol can still carry me through this area. Maybe Sludge's safe house is where it might start to drop off a bit. It's kind of dropping off against Alpha Skag. My aim is no good. Commandant Steel was a waste of a cool design. Commandant Steel was Lilith, but then they made Lilith instead of Commandant Steel. She was going to be Lilith, but then I guess they needed another bad guy model. And they were like, I mean, Commandant Steel kind of looks like a bad guy, right? There's that guy. I love that guy. Iconic guy in his iconic spot. Talk about a good wallpaper. Talk about a good screenshot to advertise the area. This gun's pretty good quality firearm just feel that quality you have randy game crash ready well the thing is it doesn't crash it just becomes unbearable to play it doesn't technically crash itself the frame rate just gets so low that you have to manually close it down i should have a picture of game crash randy that says memory leak that'd be more appropriate Did Borderlands 1 win Game of the Year that year? I don't know. It's the Game of the Year edition, probably. Probably somebody gave a Game of the Year, right? Probably at least one publication was like, yeah, I like that one. That game is better than Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And whatever Halo was that year was Reach that year. It was Odsta that year. I think it was, it was either Reach or Odsta, right? Which Gears of War came out? I don't know the years for Gears of War. Gears of War is not on my year timeline. Oh, I don't got to go over here yet. Oh, yeah, I do. It's a sniper rifle. Duh. I should probably just go kill Mo and Marley, but my ammo is going to run dry, so. You need ammo for those bad boys. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait to kill them until my ammo is, like, good. There's a Fallout 4 game of the year edition. That's true. Game of the Year edition means nothing. They can just say it. They probably have just like a fake website. You can buy a Game of the Year award from supergamingreviews.net for $5. Just watch your watermelon game video. Can you play that instead? I mean, I do play that instead. I, I foolishly downloaded the watermelon game app on my phone. Big mistake. Don't do that. Also, I downloaded the word game Gubbins on my phone because Hank Green said the word game Gubbins was good in a YouTube short. And I was like, I'll play Gubbins. So Gubbins is pretty good. It's a pretty good game. Watermelon game is more addicting, though. It's OK, though, because I was playing a lot of Polytopia as a time waster. But now I'm playing a lot of Gubbins and the watermelon game as a time waster. As long as time is being wasted somehow, we're good. As long as we're not being productive, we should be fine. Gubbins sounds awesome because it's called Gubbins. Yeah, the name Gubbins is a pretty good name. It's like a Scrabble-ish thing, but not really. It's like it's just like a word, like making words out of Tiles game, but it has a twist. And the twist is that small creatures called Gubbins try to mess you up. It's pretty fun. Anything good? Nope, terrible SMG. Literally, it's called a terrible SMG. I should sell some of this garbage. Get him out of here. Bone Shredder, keep the Bone Shredder. Bone Shredder can stay. Hunter Artifact, I should have equipped that long ago. A Pangolin Shield I can't afford to use yet. Is this a better shield? I mean, it's most of my income. But if you're going to survive out here for any length of time, you'll need a better shield, as Hammerman says in the second one. So, use the relic and a better shield is now mine. Why do I have two pistols on? 
Give me the bone shredder. That's the one for me. Be gone, bandito. Any gimmicks? Nope, no gimmick. Just a fun time, normal, normal game. Still no skill points are spent. That could be my sub goal. If Oboe Shoes Games reaches 1 million subscribers, I will spend a skill point on Borderman. If you spend the skill points on Mordecai, the game does become super duper baby mode. Like playthrough one is already super duper baby mode, but on Mordecai, if you get all those crit modifiers, it's like, why even bother having bandits? You just walk right through them. I might, I might turn the skill points on at the Iridians Promontory though, because I want to kill all the Iridians promptly. I want to clear out the Promontory promptly. Shooting through their shields helps you kill those guys in like two seconds. So I might throw on a little bit of a skill-based action for that. Doing my part to get that skill point spent. Yeah, thanks for the sub. I, I meant YouTube subs, not Twitch subs. But if somebody wants to give me a million Twitch subs, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that for some dollars. Cap C tree can be Cetra from Total Warhammer. He's like the mummy guy. And when he was announced, everybody like went crazy because apparently Tomb Kings is like the beloved faction. They're, they're okay. They're like, their giant walking guy and their scorpion guy are pretty cool. They're pretty good units. I like those. Oh, come on. What do you mean, oh, come on? He's a cool, he's a cool faction. He's coming back in Warhammer the Old World. You gave me that guy the first time I subbed three years ago? Well, you know. If the shoe fits, if I can't think of anything else that sounds like Cetra, then you become Cetra. If your name was like Joe, I would have a lot more options. You could be Angry Joe. You could be like Joe from Family Guy. But you got a name. It doesn't. Uh, you, I mean, you have Cap in there. It could be Captain. Captain America. You want to be? Would you rather? You would probably rather be Cetra from Total War than Captain America, right? Like Captain America is lame. That guy has a shield as his weapon. Shields aren't even weapons, dude. They're blockers. They block other weapons. I was once in a class with five Joes. That's pretty good. It'd be better if you were in a class with five Joes that all shared the same birthday. Now that'd be crazy. Hello, Wicked Wilkus. Oh yeah, it's Wicked Wilkus, not Wicked Wilkus. I'm still saying Wicked Wilkus. Wicked Wilkus is more fun for me to say. If you want your Twitch username to be pronounced correctly, do not type in the Oboe Shoes Games Twitch chat. It's not going to happen. Give me the super treasure. Explosive sniper, eh. Explosive sniper, eh. Can you give me something good, please, G-Box? Also, where is my backpack space? It's all gone. It's all for naught. All right, Clappy. Time to rescue you. How could you misspell my name? Says Ace Combat Fan 93. Uh, a Kekka Combat Fan? What is a Kekka Combat? A Kekka Combat? That sounds like a weird game. Never heard of a Kekka Combat. I got a YouTube comment on the last Borderman video, and somebody was like, Obo Shoes Games Drinking Game. Every time Obo Shoes Games reads a chat message and goes, mm-hmm, take a shot. Now I was like, oh, so, so clever, so clever guy. But then when I, when I read his comment, I almost out loud went, uh-huh. When I read his comment on my YouTube uh, channel page, I was like, dang it, he's, he got me. It's true. I even did it for a YouTube comment when I wasn't even streaming. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. So I don't suggest that drinking game because you will die. That's more of a dying. That's not really a game. That's more of just a way to commit dead. Uh huh. <laughs> now every message is gonna end with uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Some of the mm hmms might get cut off though, cause I'm using a new OBS thing. It's like super duper noise suppression. I'm like, yeah, I got some noise. I'll suppress that. 
but for some reason it like cuts off the beginning and end of some sentences not all of them but maybe if you've like watched a youtube upload in recent days you heard that maybe, maybe it's already done it in this video i don't know i can't monitor it in real time but it's, it's really good noise suppression it sounds quite good the only bad part is it just like cuts off the end of certain words or the beginning of certain words i'll probably just leave it on though because Anybody who's tried to calibrate a noise filter in a room where the air conditioning vent is like right there knows it's no easy task. Can't even hear fussy baby crying in the other room, exactly. Drowns out all my problems real good. I mean, I can still hear fussy baby crying in the room, but you guys can't hear him, so. Well, that didn't go very well. I hear another small fry. Can the small fry make himself known? Okay, it's fine. I killed the big guy instead. I gotta buy some of those ammo stews. I, you know, I really should just go to the DLC and get the ammo stews. There's no reason not to. I didn't want to do it, but there's no... I mean, why not? You know, why not? They put it in the game for a reason, so I could use it. I'm already out of ammo at Sledge. And I'm not even at Sledge yet. I'm at the... Big old guy. I always call this guy Sledge, but he's not Sledge. Whoops. Sledge has a powerful shield. They put skills in the game, too. Yeah, they did also put skills in the game. That's true. The skill trees in Borderlands 1 only exist so that in the IGN review for Borderlands 2, the guy can go, The skill trees are a massive upgrade over the first game, whereas in the old game, all the skills did like plus two headshot damage. In this one, they actually do cool stuff. The Borderlands 1 skill tree only exists to make future Borderlands games look good by comparison. <laughs> Top secret softies don't want you to know. I saw a Dolman Law Group car in Tampa. Oh my God, there's a Dolman Law Firm. I know who's handling my will. Dude, the Dolman Law Firm. That's great. That's a good law firm right there. That's like a Saul Goodman type guy. Come on down to Dolman Law. There should be skills to make Lilith talk 2% faster. Yeah, really. Where's his skill to skip the dialogue? Yeah, this gun is really good. It's a classic rifle right here. Made in the old style. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, I'm stuck in a corner. That's not good. Stuck in a corner with you. Have you or a loved one walked through too many sci-fi hallways and now you see visions of those things? You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call the Dolman Law Group today. Do I want that super blaster? What kind of a super blaster are we? A shotgun? Eh, I mean, it's purple. It's the color of Barney the Dinosaur, so I kind of got to take it. All right, waypoint. That's on the wrong thing. Dole Goodman, speedy justice for you. Dole Goodman, Queen Knifty for you. Have you ever a loved one been killed by Queen Knifty? Hi, I'm Saul Dolman. You should be able to get into the mine now. There's nothing between you and Sledge. And we're once Angle, turn this bridge on. I gotta get out of here. I believe in you. Thank you, Angle. Appreciate you, Angle. Angle will never betray me. Even after Angle does betray me, Angle is still a good guy. That's how good Angle is. She's a bad guy and a good guy at the same time. A truly transcendental Angle. When they remaster Borderlands 2 eventually, after Borderlands 4 flops, they should make a biblically accurate Angle, like a skin. That'd be funny. Like Angle with 5 million eyeballs on her. Is his arm off? No, it says a small arm. Okay. 
This one does have the dismemberment. This is probably the most goriest and violent of the Borderlands. Although they're all pretty gory and violent. You can't make the same complaint that you can make for a lot of games where it's like, as the series went on, it became more of a T-rated game. Because Borderlands still has violent death. This one is just more of a grounded violent death. Super Halo doesn't have blood, dude. You shoot the elite in Halo Infinite and he goes, brah, and just dies. And it's like, um, excuse me. I shot him with a shotgun. He didn't bleed from that. Lame. Halo Infinite rated T for teen game. Boo. Boo. Sell you. Sell you, 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 sell you. Oh, I have a backpack I wasn't even using. Well, shows to go you how much I know. All right, there we go. That wasn't the last equipment slot, unfortunately. Would have been better if it was that. It's full to our attention that you've been at war with elements of the local population. Look, there's Commandant Steel. We were just talking about you, Commandant Steel. How's things going, Commandant? Were you stationed on Rivion Prime? Call Saul Dolman. Did the corporation betray you and leave you for dead to fight those things all alone? Borderlands tries to be an M-rated game, but feels like it's rated to T. Yeah, it kind of does. That's a good point. It's like, yeah, look at this game. It's got like rated T for teen writing. But then it's like, oh, but the guy's head blew up, so you have to give us an M rating. You have to give us an M rating. And ESRB is like, I mean, the violence is M, but like the game itself is like, I mean, I guess, I guess we'll give you the M because you put blood in there, but you didn't really earn it. Why are you playing Mordecai? Because when I started this playthrough, I was like, who should I play? And everybody said, play Mordecai. So I played Mordecai. Should I try to kill Mobley and Gettle? I have no ammo. I haven't the rounds for such a task. There's no way I'd be able to do that. And I might not ever do it because I'm not gonna, am I gonna come back here and kill them for like five XP? I might. If I get 1 million Twitch subscribers, I'll kill Mobley and Gettle. You must rate my game M. Oh, why Why is that? His head explode. Did I sell the grenade I was using? I think I did. Oh, well. Grenade mods drop like candy in the wastelands of Pandora. Bingo. Shout out to the legends who donated over a hundred dollars to Halo Doom, dude. Nice. When I played that Halo Doom game, I was like, "Yeah, go give Halo Doom five bucks." I didn't know how many people would actually give Halo Doom five bucks, but I'm glad Halo Doom got many bucks. Don't tell Microsoft. I don't know. Halo sucks right now, so Microsoft has to be nice. Microsoft has to be like nice with the community. They have to like foster community goodwill with their IP, so they they like can't take down a fan game right now. If they were a Nintendo, see, Nintendo always puts out bangers. Every game Nintendo makes is great. So Nintendo can afford to be a jerk, and then people will still buy their game. But Halo cannot do that. Halo's got to be nice. When somebody makes a mod that, like, remasters Halo 3, they got to be like, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool you made a Halo 3 remaster mod. Oh, we were going to make that and sell it for $60, but it's oh, it's so cool the community did it first. Oh, we oh, we love that. That's so sweet, dude. Did you know Borderlands has a podcast? I was on the G-Box Softies channel watching the trailer for their new Risk of Rain mobile game, which, first of all, LOL, Risk of Rain mobile game. That's hilarious. I'm glad G-Box bought one of the best games ever. That's always a good sign. But they have, like, a 10-episode podcast where various people involved in the creation of Borderlands speak about the creation of Borderlands. I did not listen to it for more than five minutes, but I might because I am interested in the creation of Borderlands. Shut up, Angle. I'm talking about a podcast. 
<laughs> Be quiet, Angle. I'm podcasting. There could be some interesting tidbits in there. Like, favor, subscribe if you want me to listen to that whole thing. And then, like, tell you all the interesting parts. Because Randy is on there. Randy is on that podcast, so I understand if you don't want to listen to Randy for 10 hours. But I will make the sacrifice and listen to the whole thing. And then tell you, like, the three cool parts that was in it. I think I want to buy a revolver ammo. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to go get all the ammo. I might as well. I might as well, right? I might as well go to T-Bone Johnson. But first, we got to watch the hilarious cutscene. Just kidding. I skipped it. Why is my mouse cursor here? Hello? There we go. We must speak immediately. I like and subscribe, but I don't know what it means to favorite to SMH my head. You just click the favorite button. He knows where to find me. And a word of caution. Don't touch him if you ever want to like favorite subscribe. Scooter, I hardly know her. Hey, that's my joke, Randy. You done stole my joke. After you favor my video, be sure to rate it five stars. The star rating is very important as well. Oh yeah, hit A on the car first. Sorry, Scooter Man. Oh wait, no, go get this stuff to hit A on the car first. Sorry, twice, Scooter Man. I forgot multiple times. Here we go. There's the Lego engine piece. Oh, I almost died there. I almost got invisible wall. Duh, duh, duh. Where's the chest? Is the chest down there? Did I forget where the T-Bone Junction quest is? I did not forget where the T-Bone Junction chest is. Hello, Claptrap. I bet there are. Everybody wants my services. They're like, this guy's gonna have all the ammo SDUs at like level 10, dude. This guy's a genius. This is the mercenary for us. Where's the Athenas? Aren't they coming down soon? I think this one makes him descend from the heavens. Pretty sure. Yeah, there they are. Here comes the assassins. And sub to Caffeine Man. Yes, of course. Like, favor, subscribe, favorite, rate five stars to Caffeine Man. I wonder what the Borderlands 4 G Fuel is going to be. Because if they had a Tiny Tino G Fuel, they will definitely have a Borderman 4 G Fuel. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I didn't die. Nice. That is good. Never mind. I'm the greatest gamer alive. I forgot. Sometimes I forget I'm the best gamer. Here we go, Scooter. Your auto is now ready to go. Since we all know Suicide Squad is gonna suck, will you play that? I don't want to. Is it is it even worth it though? Cause like, it's not like a Rise of Kong or a Gollum where it's like funny bad. It's just like, oh look, a live service third person shooter where you have many abilities that you can hit A to use. It's like an anthem. Yeah, it's just anthem again. Except anthem was actually kind of fun. The combat in Anthem was good. It's just that there was no variety. Like, all you did was the combat in Anthem, which doesn't seem like it should be a problem because it's like, okay, you can now lost connection. What? Your connection has been lost to what? My Twitch is still going. What do you mean my connection was lost? This isn't an online game. What do you mean my connection died? What are you trying to pull, Randy? My connection was lost to Borderlands 1? What, did my graphics card come unplugged? Your connection to Angle. Ah, that's what it is. Go ahead, 
I can't see you, friend. We're flying blind. You have to go hit A on Commandant Steel. Your emotional connection to the game was lost. Nah, that's not possible. Borderlands 1 is too nostalgic in my brain for my emotional connection to be severed. I played this bad boy over Christmas break when it came out. And boy, howdy, was it a fun time. Do you have a vendor in your store I can just sell these two, Scooter? I don't feel like running all the way to that Marcus guy. He's all the way over there. Stockholm Syndrome. Mm -hmm. Some might say I'm Stockholm Syndrome. Mm -hmm. Are you a quest? Mm -hmm. No, you're not a quest. Mm -hmm. This was the first M-rated game I bought when I turned 18. Dang, dude. Dude, did they ID you at GameStop? I don't, I don't know, youngster. This game might be a little, uh, might be a little out of your league. Can I see some ID for Borderman? Marcus, do you want to buy all my super expensive stuff I found? I think you do. I found a Savage Equalizer. I didn't even notice. Well, so much for that. Mom, they're aliens. It doesn't count. It's not... It's just killing aliens. You're not killing people. You're just killing aliens. You're only killing aliens. If you buy me Goldeneye, I promise I'll only play it in the paintball mode. I promise I won't use the blood mode in Goldeneye. Clear your roadblock. No thanks. What I think I will do... Well, the thing is, if I save quit to buy a bunch of SDUs, the issue with that is that will make the memory leak happen. I don't know, kid. They talk about pretty mature stuff like poop and farts in this game. Are you sure your mind can handle that? I don't know if I can sell a poopy fart game to a kid with my conscience still clean. Alright, let's begin the process of the save quit chest farm. Crap, there's more chests in here. There's those. There's that one. There's more chests here somewhere. I don't know where they are, though. I forgot. Oh, Athena, guys. Let's go back to the menu. What is that? Ew, ew. Get that out of here. What is that? What is that, Jay? Is that why I needed a connection to the server? I needed a connection to the softy server so the stupid Borderlands Pandora's JPEG? Oh, my God, dude. They put it on the menu? They put, I haven't seen this, but this must have just happened while I'm playing this. Or maybe I'm blind. Borderlands Collection. No thanks. I'm already playing Borderlands. I'm already playing it, dude. Okay, we still have a decent frame rate. We're in an enclosed area. Hang on, let me see how the town runs. How's the town looking? Don't you want to buy the game you're already playing again? I mean, I kind of do. Only if it's a full $70, though. Not if it's like a reasonable, cheap price. Are there any easy to complete quests on this? Nah, really. I could do the XP from the zombie island, but the zombie island sucks. This game is great. One of my all-time favorite games. I'm not going to do that. I don't I don't foresee a future where I ever complete the zombie island DLC like ever again. I really just don't see any possible scenario where I would do that. Or the Moxie's Underdome. I would never do the Moxie's Underdome either. I'm simply just not going to do it. Isn't there a chest over there or somewhere? Thereabouts? They gotta add a glitch where you can just like get into the General Knox armory like reward building. They gotta add a glitch where you get into that early. If they add that, like a way to clip through the wall and get those chests on a level one character. Then I'll buy the super duper edition. Then I'll buy the Borderland Pandora box.
I could have sworn there was another chest somewhere. I guess maybe there's not. The lockers do give rewards, though. They're worth getting. When the area is so higher scaled than I. Alright, let's so look at Pandora's box again. Please don't turn off your computer. Don't worry, Randy. I won't do it. I would never pull the plug on my beloved junction. Might as well get these lockers, too. Why not? They had some cash. They had hundreds. We got 118 and 177. So close to making a Halo joke. Hello, Marcos here. Speaking of Pandora, you're gonna play the Avatar Far Cry. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look that bad, honestly. It it literally is just Far Cry, but the graphics is really nice. It's a Ubisoft, so it probably won't keep be on Game Pass, and I don't really want to buy it. So maybe in like a year when it's on sale for ten bucks, I might play it. I mean, it's it looks like a very polished, very fine game. But it is just a Far Cry, and like I played Far Cry already. It look it looks interesting to run around in as like a graphics thing, but the game is just like eh. The PS3 360 Avatar is way more interesting of a game. That's a very interesting game. It's it's very ambitious for being on the PS3, and it doesn't quite work out. It's not quite there but it's way more interesting to think about yeah, I, don't, I don't like playing games I like thinking about games I like to uh, just sit there and think about a game instead of playing it's more fun for me remastering Morrowind is a no win situation yeah they're just not going to do that I mean they might do it because the Oblivion remaster was announced I feel like they're just going to let the modders handle the Morrowind remake. Because, like, the, the Oblivion one, they can just do that. Like, they are they are already doing that. Because Oblivion can be Skyrim d -d -d enough. It's it's close enough to Skyrim where that, like, a modern... Oh, my God, I'm dead. Or am I? Or am I? Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho. But, yeah, Oblivion is close enough to Skyrim that, like... A modern gamer could buy the Oblivion remaster and be like, yeah, okay, I get it. It's kind of old, but whatever. But the Morrowind is not close enough to Skyrim. Morrowind has is Morrowind, so I don't know if they'll ever bother remastering that. Let me sell my ill-gotten gains. You can have that gain, that gain, that gain. I got to sold some of the guns I was actually using. That was a level 31 masher. Ooh, I want that. If only I was properly leveled to utilize my bounty. We got 43-2-8-77. What's the SDU run these days? Yeah, I can buy two of them. Let's keep going. If you don't know what I'm doing right now, by the way, I'm at a DLC map that's much higher level than the base game, and I am farming the loot here to sell it to buy the maximum ammo capacity upgrades so that I don't have to run out of ammo ever. Hello, that was for all you Here Borderlands noobs. If you like save quitting as a core mechanic of the game, Borderlands is the game for you. I don't know how they get around that, honestly, because they, they could add a respawn boss button, but the respawn boss button would have to, like, cost something. You can't just do it for free. I mean, you should be able to just do it for free, because I'm going to save quit anyway. But, like, if they add a respawn boss button, I think they have a few times, but if, you, if they have a respawn boss button, the respawn boss button will cost, like, iridium, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to save quit. I'm not going to pay the iridium. I'll just save quit and get it back in. And they wouldn't ever disable save quit farming because save quit farming is like the only thing that Borderlands streamers do. Pretty much the only thing you can do in Borderlands these days is just like farm for a weird gun. But I don't know. I thought you were running in circles farming ad revenue. Yeah, welcome to sprinting at a fence. This is my new video series. I hope you enjoy.
All right, back to the real game. Back to the real gameplay where I farm guns and lockers instead. Can you imagine how boring it would be if you just stared at the scenery the whole time? I'm glad he hits A on a loot crate instead. Dude, loot I can't use. Let's go. Are we complaining about Borderlands and what they should do for four? I mean, that's just a given. Not really, though. This has been a pretty positive, positive uh, stream so far. We haven't really said Borderlands sucks that much. I mean, I said Randy sucks. I said the Borderlands Pandora's box sucks, but that's because the Borderlands Pandora's box came into my territory and put a JPEG on my loading screen. How dare they? Healing kit, ha ha ha. Hoo hee hoo ha ha. And I thought my jokes were bad. Just like Urbo, tranquil streaming. Yes, Borderlands is very similar to Urbo. I mean, it's got like a cartoon graphic. Urbo is kind of a cartoon. It's not cell shaded, but it's it's stylized. The graphics have a style. Therefore, the games are essentially identical. They're basically the same. Oh, traveler. There are new missions available on the T-Bone Junction Bounty Board. Urbo is much more violent. That's true. In Urbo, the houses are merging. Entire family lines are being wiped out like every five seconds. You farming for a corrosive gun? No, I'm just getting money to buy the ammo SDUs. I need more bullets for my firearm, you see. It's like Urbo with guns. If I ever saw a box at GameStop that said, it's like Urbo with guns, I'm buying that immediately. You know I'm buying, it's like Urbo with guns. That, that should be my game idea. I should learn how to use a game engine and make Urbo with guns. Gun Urbo. It's just called Gun Urbo. That's my game. So, uh, what's your game like? Uh, it's like Urbo, but imagine if when you were playing Urbo, you had unlimited ammo. What? There's no ammo in Urbo. Yeah, exactly. But imagine if Urbo did have ammo, and then imagine if that ammo was unlimited. Wouldn't that be something? You're a gun that fires houses. You load up your level 5 building into the barrel of your shotgun and blast it. Blast it at the beautiful town. The more households you destroy, the better. Oh, and you can definitely call an AC-130. Dude, because in Urbo, you have to like get rid of buildings. Like In Urbo, buildings are in your way. In my version of Urbo, in Gun Urbo, you will be able to, if you get like a 10 building combo, you can call on an AC-130 gunship and just blow up the whole town with an AC-130. And Philip Graves will say, nice kill, good kill, Badger 5. Nice work, I'm Philip Graves. Nice, nice talking to you, pleasure doing business. Can we add FOMO skins? Yeah, we can have FOMO skins. For Philip Graves. <laughs> Philip, you, whenever you activate the AC-130, you see a little like window of Philip Graves talking to you, like the Dead Space video calls. So you can add skins for Philip Graves in his little video call thing. The Urbo Pass, yeah, the Urbo Pass. Urbo Season Five. Don't miss out on the exclusive Urbo Season Five Tier Fifty reward. Oh, you won't make it to tier 50 in time? That's okay. You can just buy some level skips. Nicki Minaj skin for Graves. Hot Pink Philip Graves. Hot Pink Philip Graves would sell very well in the actual Call of Duty game. I played like three rounds of the new Call of Duty last night. Just, you know, because I was just looking for something to occupy my brain when I was in a Discord call. And I saw a whole lot of Philip Graves's. I saw a whole lot of soaps. 
I saw a whole lot of ghosts, and I saw a whole lot of weird Diablo lady. Those appear to be the most popular character bundles. At least in a low-skill lobby such as mine. On the Borderlands Pandora box collection little thing, they really could have not made it a black cube. It could have just been like a little transparent logo, but I guess the black cube does get your attention. Does make you say, hey, what is that? I hate that. I still remember when they added that to Borderlands 2 the first time. I was so furious. when my I was playing Borderlands 2, just playing it, having fun. My Borderlands 2 menu said, buy Borderlands 3 today. I was like, ah, ah. Oh, I don't want to. And then they have the gall to advertise new tales in the Borderlands inside Borderlands 2. They're like, hey, you should buy new tales. I'm like, no, you shouldn't. No one should do that. Come see me at my place in T-Bone Junction. Got a shotgun, I got a class mod. Am I out of inventory space? What am I doing? How am I out of inventory space? Didn't I just sell some stuff? I guess I didn't sell enough. Save me, vendor, save me. I think I didn't hit up the vendor this time, that's the issue. So many good revolvers. I'd love to use them someday. But I gotta earn it. I gotta work my way to the top of the borderland. I think there is one more chest in Tebow Bunction somewhere. Tebow Bunction? Welcome to Tebow Bunction. The Bumber Bum place for all your Bumber needs. I don't know where it is, though. I would have known for sure like a year ago. That's why I gotta play Borderlands 1 again, because my Borderlands 1 knowledge. I mean, the human brain is not a permanent thing. If you don't constantly update it, the knowledge will vanish over time. On my deathbed, I want to remember the location of every chest in New Haven. That should be the last thing I think before I die. One of my life goals. I should be able to buy a bunch of them. I might I might just start playing the actual campaign now because I can buy like three or four of them. And that'll be fine. I don't need them for every gun type. And plus, if I do need them for every gun type, I can just come back later and farm some more. Your life flashes before your eyes, but it's just Borderlands chest locations. I mean, when I'm dying, if I hear bam, 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 while I'm dying, I'm like, dude, sweet. Love that song. Uh, what do I want? Definitely the revolvers to do. That's a good stew to have. SMG stews a good one to have as well. Can I afford one more? I can afford one more. Um. We'll go with the combat rifle, too, because I have a combat rifle on, right? Is that not what I have equipped currently? Yeah, okay. You might think the sniper, stew makes more sense because he's Mordecai, but the revolver Mordecai is more fun than sniper Mordecai, in my opinion. The last thing I want to say before I die is wake me up when I'm not on Pandora anymore. I can afford all your goodest guns, Marcus, but you ain't selling anything good. That's the issue. All right, Bounty Board, give me the next batch. We got the old combat rifle. That's the only thing in the batch. Okay. This is Janus Cobb? Not Janus Cobb. What's that guy's name? What's that guy's name? It's not Janus Cobb. That's like Shep Sanders. Yeah, Shep Sanders has a new quest for you. You should ask him about it. What's up, Stall Bangle? Stall Bangle! Like, favorite, subscribe for Stall Bangle! 
Every time stall bangle appears, people in the YouTube comments like, what is a stow bangle? I don't know what that is. If you want to know stall bangle, come over to Twitch. It's stall bangle. Woo, stall bangle. Thanks for gifting the sub to stall bangle. Let's go, bangles. The bangles. Where are the bangles from? They're a football team, a USA football team. I'm not I'm not looking at chat right now. I'm trying to figure out where are the bangles from. It's no Cleveland is the Cleveland Browns. They also have a B. Dude, I don't where is the bangles from? Okay, I give up. I'm gonna look at chat. Cincinnati. Oh yeah, Cincinnati Bengals, duh. Bengals? What kind of a name is Bengals for your team? Get out of here, Rack. I'm trying to remove your dung. If you want to remove the Rack dung. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shoot propeller with the machine gun. Okay, I gotta actually aim. Ugh, I gotta aim my gun. Boring, boring, boring. Miss every shot, there we go. That's why we bought the ammo, SDU. Blast him, blast him. Look at that controller aiming. Gotta love some good controller aiming. Controller aiming is the way to go. Um, where is the combat rifle? That's the one that's like right here, right? And that the one that's right there? Yeah, it's right there. By the game of the year skull, dude. Game of the year edition skull. Here we go, my favorite. My favorite part. Silence, skag, whelp. Whelp, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. R.I.P. that guy. It's sad that a uh, Shrek guy died. He's a hero. Picking up any loot feels kind of pointless because I have infinite money from the DLC farm now. I don't have that much, actually. I spent most of it on the ammo I used. Rare figurine! We got the bobblehead. Marcus bobblehead, baby. That's big funding. That's the kind of funding that's gonna put this playthrough in business. That's the kind of funding that's gonna kick things into high gear. You never come here, now you're gonna oh, contraire, bandito. You never should have come here. You never should have stood here, and now you're gonna pay. There it is, the game of the year skull. Woo! This skull was added in the game of the year edition. Wasn't in the base game. Fun fact for Border fans. I didn't get the one down here. Gotta get the one down here. Is there a reason? Nah, it's just fun. It's just a fun little thing. Okay, this is embarrassing. I'm missing a combat rifle part. Where's the fondue part? Is it this one? Did I forget this one? Yeah, I forgot that fondue part. Whoops. Fondue part acquired. A uh, circle of death trivial. Is it even worth the 504 XP I'd get from it? It feels like no. It feels like maybe not. Now that I have max ammo, I could do Moa Marley, but it's kind of boring. Sledge is level 17, though? Holy crap. Sledge ain't messing around. There's a million guys between Sledge and the spawn of the Sledge map, though. You can get plenty of XP going. The point of the skull is to distract from they didn't fix the, fix the memory leak, yeah. Oh, they put a cool little skeleton there. Oh, my game crashed for the third time, but it's a little skeleton. That's nice. I like that one. Maybe I should do Circle of Slaughter. It's decent XP. 
Oh, for circle of slaughter, you need a flame dot. A flame dot is how you win that one. It's how the game is played. Where did my car go? There's my car. Miss how Borderlands 1 rewards exploration with red chests in the weirdest places, yet in each following game, the exploration is rewarded less and less. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where a lot of the chests are in Borderlands 2. There's still plenty of, like, random chests in the environment. But in, like, Borderlands 2 and 3, they have, like, vault symbols. They have, like, uh, challenge collectibles hidden everywhere. They're not as fun as chests, though. Chests are more fun. But you do get XP for those challenge things. You can, like, complete the, you found all the things to find challenge. I don't know. It's something. It's something, I guess. Borderlands will never get better than this song right here, though. It's the best song they've ever had. Best song they will have. The song is so good, they had to bring it back in 2. They had to bring it back in pre-sequel. I don't think... Did they ever have it in 3? Maybe the Krieg DLC had it at some point? But I don't think Krieg was in Firestone, so I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember if this song was in 3. I don't think it was. Yeah, pre-sequel has, like, the Excalibur gun. That's got something. Splattered. Splattered. Time to go serve Sledge on a silver platter. He's gotta be aware his powerful shield. His shield is powerful. Isn't the Sanctuary 3 song this song? No, no, not even close. Not even close. This song is the bow 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 bow. Sanctuary three is like. As you can hear, those were two very different melodies. Come here, Sledgester. I'm ready to battle for the Badlands. I'm ready to go to the Dal Headland. Any good shield? A better shield? He's not even selling a better shield. This guy sucks. This guy wouldn't know a better shield if he was to survive out here for any length of time. On to the battle. Whoa, whoa, Psycho, that's all my health bar. You done killed my whole thing in one hit. Stupid skill-based matchmaking. I'm level 16, so it only puts me against level 18 to level 19 enemies. Where's my lobby of level 2 bandits? Doesn't incentivize getting better at the game if the enemies are just as good as me the whole time. I can't just innately enjoy a higher level of competition. I have to be slaughtering noobs the whole time. Four pistols? Not bad. One of those might be usable. I'll take a look at the old inventory in a second here. The driving section in three had a terrible sound track. Uh, at the song, I don't know. The song was kind of good in the Borderlands 3 Warthog part. But what they should have done is maybe not make it a copyrighted song. Maybe they should have said, hey, people tend to stream video games. Maybe we should not put a copyrighted song in here because it'll get flagged and everybody's videos will get demonetized and they won't play our game anymore. Hmm. But you can just mute it. You can just turn the song off, so it's fine. But on the first playthrough, when you don't know what's coming, you're like, ah, they got me. Classic softies. And also the end credits. That, that can have a licensed song, because you can, like, 
listen to the first three seconds and hear what song it is and hit A to skip it. That's fine. Also, shout out to the uh, people who composed the Urbo OST because a few days after I uploaded the Urbo video, like it took a while, the Urbo OST got added to the YouTube music algorithm or whatever. And like five days after Urbo was uploaded, I got a message saying, the people who made the Urbo music are going to take half of the ad revenue. I'm like, whatever, I don't care. Urbo can have it. Urbo can have the ad revenue. Another thing, if you're making a video game, like maybe don't put the video game soundtrack in like the YouTube audio copyright system because then everybody who plays your game is gonna get copy struck and like that's fine because you're legally allowed to do that and you get all their ad revenue which is good income but if you want people to play the game and market it then it's gonna de-incentivize people to do that. Of course my perspective on that is as a guy who plays the game so obviously I want my videos to be monetized for myself so I am a bit biased, but I, I do think it's a good uh, a good point that like people will play your game on YouTube and advertise it to people, but if they if you put a bunch of demonetized music in there, they just won't do it. More like er bonus ad revenue, yeah. To be to be clear, I am not mad at Erbo for doing that because Erbo was good. If it was a bad game that sucked, I'd be mad. But Erbo is a classic. Whoa, there's the memory leak. The memory leak is rearing its ugly head. Can we kill Sledge before the memory leak kills my entire computer? Oh god. Oh god, it's here. I can't escape it. You can't avoid it. You should take the Erbo video down, then put up a new Erbo video saying Erbo sucks. No, it's fine. And the Urbo is a revenue sharing. It's not like they get all the ad revenue. It's like they get half, which is fine. Like, if you put a Weezer cover in your video, Weezer gets like 70% to 80% of your ad revenue, which is which is fine, because they made the song. All I did was put Marcus Bean Burrito lyrics in it. All right, Bandits, look, I gotta, I gotta get the Sledge. I gotta speak to him about this memory leak issue I'm having here. It's very important that I kill him before the frame rate degrades even further. That probably won't happen if I miss every shot I take. Remember the new skull? The Is there a skull on the sludge safe house area? Oh no, you're talking about the memory leak, yeah. I oh, mean, the memory's leaking, but there was that skull. That skull was funny. That's true. It was a funny skull. I did laugh. Fun fact. That's all new for the Game of the Year Super Duper version. I don't know how many hours I have in the normal Borderlands Game of the Year on PC. I probably have a lot more hours in the Game of the Year Enhanced. Because in the, in the old Borderlands version, there was no way to, like, adjust the FOV permanently. And like the workaround was you had to make an I and I file that every time you hit the W key to move forward, the five would be adjusted. But whenever you like scoped in, it would be unadjusted. It was a mess. That version was a disaster. But this version is a disaster too, because it's a stupid memory leak. And the gearbox golden chest. Oh, golden chest. Follow Randy on X for all your favorite golden codes. This guy's gonna kill me, I got no chance. No hope. No hope to survive. Even when your hope is gone, you respawn, you respawn just to fight again. See, now the All-American Rejects will get half my ad revenue for this video. That's fine, because they made Bionicles. Bionicles is cool. That memory's leaking, man. It's leaking through. I can feel it coming. I can't avoid it. Watch out. It's the raider. Okay, am I going to be able to kill this guy, actually? I don't know. He's pretty strong. Don't run away. I hate when they run away when you're down. That's so annoying. That's a bad feature. And since I have a million money, it's going to cost most of that million money to respawn. So I'm losing my million dollars. 
All it takes is one bandit to completely ruin your game. Well, this playthrough is done. I can't beat the bandit. Whoops. I saw All American Rejects a few months ago and they did not use any bionicle visuals during that song. That sucks. Come on, All American Rejects. Put Toa on the screen. Computer, put Jaller on the screen. Do I have any long range crap? I have this thing. Maybe that can blast him with a little scoped action. Liquid Sniper? That's pretty good. I'll just Liquid Snipe him. Hang on, are you good? Oh, you're pretty good. You're pretty good, huh, Revolver? He's pretty good, too. He's he's coming for me. He's not just staying back. Stay back, dude. Stay back over there. Yeah, run back there. Don't come get me. His SMG does devastating damage. I can't handle that kind of a blow. Let my shield regen. Let my shield regen, and you know what else. Just trying to kill you with my cool vertical TikTok scope. I'm gonna die. Get back, shield. Get back. There we go. Vertical video. There we go. You just got skibbity toilet. -da 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 -da. Actually, Skibbity Toilet isn't even vertical. Skibbity, isn't Skibbity Toilet like a like a widescreen series? I'm pretty sure he publishes those in widescreen. Out of here, turret. The secret to the turret is if you kill the guy, the turret is silent. But hitting the guy can be a little bit more harder than you bargained for. And your sniper sucks. It won't hit anything. They release it in full screen and short versions? Ooh, double. No matter what video format you prefer, there's a Skibbity Toilets for you. When you see our video, you'll say Skibbity Yes Yes. Get him out of here. There we go. The turret is now mine. Oh boy, I got the Moosumer Mark V turret. Full hunter, I got a turret full hunter. Bingo. The foes have been slain. Thus subsides my pain. That guy's just showing. He was just having a good time. Level up. Nice. Nice. This pistol's pretty good. The satisfaction of finding a good gun in Borderland is pretty good satisfaction. Are you from downtown? That guy's from all the way over there. What are you doing? Is this a non-level up playthrough? No, I'm leveling up. I'm level 17. You can't not level up, unfortunately. Borderlands Soul Level 1 playthrough. It would probably be mathematically impossible. Because you would run out of money to buy ammo on some of the boss fights. Like, there's no way you can do enough damage as a level 1 guy to win. Unless you have, like, a... Like, a corrosive dot when you punch someone. Maybe that would work. I don't know. Someone's probably done that. Somebody probably beat Borderlands level one. Can you beat Borderlands level one? People do. Can you beat Borderlands only white guns? That's a classic. Everybody knows that one. The bruiser is dead. Mordecai out here giving the bandits the curveball. Hit him with the curveball! He's got a pretty good curveball, though. Again, Super Mega Baseball 4 developers fix the stupid customization in your game. I can't believe why well, I can't believe because EA bought them. And of course, when EA bought when EA buys them immediately, their next game is way worse than the old one. 
In Super Mega Baseball 2 and 3, I had a custom team. That was great. But in Super Mega Baseball 4, they messed up the customization, which is the best feature of their whole game. And also, you can't import a team from 3. Why not? Let me import the team from 3. What What is stopping you? Add the team import and fix the stupid MS Paint logo editor not be terrible. Pretty please, EA. Please. Bloodwing would be the bird. Yeah, Bloodwing's the bird that Randy Johnson killed. Classic clip. If you've never seen that hilarious video of a bird getting killed by a baseball, I mean, it's not that funny. I mean, it's, it's a little funny, but you know, a bird died, so that's sad. It's just, it's more funny how bad luck the bird had. The bird had a terrible luck to be in the middle of a baseball pitch going like 100 miles an hour. The bird exploded. Yeah, the bird exploded. He, he just turned into a bunch of feather JPEGs. It's a little funny. It's, it's, a, it's a little funny. Just a little funny. In a dark humor sort of way. My humor is so dark. Most people can't even stand to be around me. I'm so messed up, bro. Check out my Tumblr for more dark humor posts. More Shadow the Hedgehog epic quotes. Damn, I lose rings when I get hit. Four twenty XP, a four twenty. Have a green gun and I got four twenty XP. Uh. That's pretty funny. That's a dark humor. Pretty sure SMB4 was a set it and forget it cash grab and EA's having metalhead work on something else. Maybe it's possible. I'm just worried that they're gonna make like SMB major league. It's like they, they definitely, since they have the MLB license, they definitely want to make like an arcade baseball game. That's like the natural thing they'll make. Like a, an officially licensed MLB product in the style of Super Mega Baseball would be great. But since EA is involved, you know it's going to have Ultimate Team. You know it's going to have that stupid Ultimate Team card system. It'll just, it'll just be a disaster. I'm happy that Metalhead Software got a huge buyout though. Because they made good baseball games for like 10 years. So good for them that they got a bunch of money, but their games is going to suck real bad. Dark humor is when the lights go out at a comedy club. Bazinga. Kramer, I heard what happened to your career. How could you say that? Oh, Jerry, you told me to try some dark humor. Yeah, I meant turn the lights off and then tell jokes. What did you do? Alright, Sledge, your powerful shield will be forced to yield. Oh yeah. It's yielding time. I'd like to see them do different sports in that style. Yeah, they could that's another way they could do is do like a the super mega brand can become the new backyard sports. That'd be nice. But again, it's gonna it's gonna have some like garbage loot box crap though. What if we took backyard baseball and gave it FIFA Ultimate Team? That sounds like my nightmare personally. That sounds just awful. All right, listen up, Sledge. These bad lands ain't gonna battle for themselves. That looks like a pretty good SMG, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That might be worthy of an equipment slot. Super Mega Ping Pong. I'm gonna play Super Mega Ping Pong. That could be like a VR game. Ping Pong is a good VR sport. Yeah, I gotta use that one. Dude, these dark red Hyperions are good. I missed the dark red Hyperions from Borderlands 1. They're classics. Super Mega Bobsled. That'd be great if they just did like weird sports that no one ever makes games of. Like really extremely high quality versions of like Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games mini games.
Watch out, he's got a powerful shield. Let's see how powerful it truly is. With a thin sight, I like the thin sight. A lot of the sights in this game I like. There's a lot of like stylish sights in Borderlands 1 that I wish more games would have. This one's so weirdly thin that it has its own vibe. Oh, he's shotgunning me. He's got Sledge's shotgun. Don't be fooled. Don't think for a moment Sledge does not have his signature shotgun. He's got it. Him and his Among Us helmet. I don't know, Sledge. You're looking a little sus lately. It's almost like we have an imposter among us. Fencing would be a good VR game? You would think so, but probably not. Because there's no there's no weight to the swords. Like, sword fighting in VR doesn't work that good. Oh, that was a huge memory leak. I'm going to die because of that. Not because of my lack of skill and bad positioning. It was the memory leak that did me in. It was his fault. Ow. But yeah, if you're in like a sword fighting game, if you hit the enemy sword, it's got to bounce off. And that can't happen in VR. In VR, it's not possible. Because you can't like make your hand jolt backwards. Not yet. Elon Musk's Neuralink can't like control your body yet. There's one sword fighting game, I forget what it's called, that like kind of makes it work because they have like, you have to choose a sword style. You have to choose a style of your sword and like only certain moves do damage. Like you have to hold the sword a certain way. That one kind of works. Because it like forces you to play it like an actual sword battle. Fencing swords are light and flexible. No, I know, but all it would be is just like flailing with, with no weight. With no weight in your hand that simulates a sword, with no feedback, like you can't like, you can't like cross sabers with somebody in VR. Because if you cross sabers in real life, your sword would not go through theirs, but in VR, your hand would just, it would just go through. And you have to reconcile the sword's position where it should be, and then where your hand actually is, and it's just a disaster. They'll figure it out eventually. They haven't yet. Blade and Sorcery is pretty good, but Blade and Sorcery is a good example, because Blade and Sorcery, when you swing your sword at a guy, like, your hand is all the way at the bottom of your swing, but the sword is, like, stuck in their shoulder, like, a foot above where your hand actually is in real life. That's the issue with VR swords. When you try to multiplayer that, it's just a disaster. I can't wait until it works, because the VR lightsaber dueling game is going to be awesome. That's going to be a great game. But it's going to take them a while to figure out how to make that work. New games should have the boldness of Borderlands 1 to put awful sights in their games. I agree. They're artistic. They're good. They're terrible. How bad they are makes them good. Like, how terrible the vertical scope is, is what makes it my favorite scope. It's great. The new Call of Duty does have, like, a million scopes, though. If you want a game that has a million scopes where you're gone, that's a game for you. Some of them are just, like, why would you use this? Some of, the, some of them are extremely suboptimal. I wouldn't say any of the scopes in like the new Modern Warfares are bad, but there are some that's like, why would I use this instead of Red Dot? That kind of satisfies the requirement, but not really. They would never put like a vertical phone scope in Call of Duty, although they absolutely should. That'd be great. Got you on the rope, Sledge. Got you a half health, buddy. Just a few more respawns and you'll be slain. Hammer down. Can I get him before I die? It's possible if I get a million headshots. The spread's a bit random though. Come on, Sledge. Nope, gotta reload, so close. So close, so incredibly close. But close is not quite there. That's what they always say. Come here. He didn't die, come on, die. 
There we go. Give me your shotgun, your classic shotgun. I gotta use your shotgun to speed run. You gotta speed run with Sledge's shotgun. Unless a new speed running technique has been uncovered. I bet you would like to know what the last time I checked, Sledge's shotgun's pretty good for that. What you are holding is the key that opens it. One part of it, anyway. Thanks, Angle. Is that a better shield? Oh, a better shield, baby. A better shield from Pangolin Industries. Mm hmm. Thank you, Pangolin. Ooh, good snipe. Look at the accuracy. The weapon proficiency, you might say. That guy's here? I don't like that. I don't like that he has a rocket launcher. That's not... That's not great. If I can get him to walk to the barrels, then AOE him, that'd be good. Give him a little Age of Empires action. A little bit further. Here we go. Should be close enough. There we go. Three? The dot is three? Come on. Do more damage. Do more damage. Bingo. A white tier rocket launcher. Come on, dude. What a rip off. This game's a scam. This game makes you think that's going to be old and bad, but actually it's the best one. Borderlands 2 is the best Borderlands game, but Borderlands 1 is my favorite Borderlands game. I like this one more than 2, even though 2 is like way, way, way better. Like It's not even close how much better 2 is. And even 3. 3 is way better than 2. You can't deny that Borderlands 3 is way better than Borderlands 2, but Borderlands 3 sucks. Borderlands 2 is where it's at. Border Borderlands 3 is the best one. Borderlands 2 is where it's at. And Borderlands 1 is my favorite. Chupa Thingy, thank you for subscribing. Chupa Cobratch in Borderlands 3. See, that's what I'm saying. That's a guy in Borderlands 3. Is it nostalgia or something else that makes you prefer Borderlands 1? Uh, yeah, it's both. It's just good. I just enjoy it. I enjoy the simplicity of it. It's nice and simple. Nobody screams in your ear the whole time for every quest. You can beat it in a couple of hours. The iron sight design on some of the guns. The vertical scope. The atmosphere. It's got good atmosphere. It's pretty good. You know what else is pretty good? Like, favor, subscribe to Oboshu's Games so you never miss an upload. I'm probably going to stop this one here because on YouTube when I uploaded the two-hour Borderman, everybody's like, oh boy, Borderman. But then on my YouTube analytics, like 3% of the people got to the end of that one. I think two hours might be a little bit too long for a Borderman YouTube upload. So I'm going to end this one here. Go subscribe to Caffeine Man on YouTube. And I'll see you in the next Angry Joe show. <laughs>